Welcome to Main East Quarant Talks, the show where Main East Blue Demons stay connected through the quarantine. Welcome to Main East Quarant Talks. I'm Mr. Ash, the Main East Podcasting Teacher. Over the last few weeks of school, my students will be producing interviews with their favorite teachers. They will ask them the hard-hitting questions about how they're doing and coping through this unusual time of stay-at-home quarantine. We're producing these videos for everyone at Main East. We know each of you are going through hard times, and we hope that these interviews will allow all of us to see friends, teachers, colleagues. We want to put smiles back on some faces, so sit back and enjoy these interviews conducted by my students. Welcome back to Main East Corn Talks. This is Daniela, and today we're with the best math teacher, Mrs. Vasta. How have you, how have you been? I'm good. I'm like actually more busy now than I usually am like when I'm going to work all the time, which is weird. <laughs> really? Yeah. So I have a seven-year-old who's doing e-learning and I have a 10-month-old who's learning how to walk and therefore <laughs> is trying to kill himself all the time by like doing things that he's not supposed to do. And then my husband is on meetings all day. So trying to figure out a way to like watch the kids, do my job and him not be really available has been a challenge. But it, we're making it work. It's just, I feel like I'm running around like a circus. It's crazy. <laughs> All right. Um, what's something about school you were missing that you didn't think you'd actually miss? Um, I think having a routine, like I'm very much like a pajamas all day kind of person. And, and I, and I like that, but that was really fun for a little while. And now I kind of feel like I've descended into madness and I'm like, did I shower today? I don't know if I showered today. Like, I don't know. And I'm losing track of like having that routine. Basta. Hi, Mary. How are you? I'm good. I'm hanging in there. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How's your quarantine going? It's been an adventure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's fun. Like I, my son is starting to learn how to walk. So he like wants to injure himself, like literally all the time. Like he's touching things he shouldn't be touching and whatever. So it, that's a challenge, but it's super cool that I get to be there for that. It's <laughs> yeah, because cool. you're not in school anymore. So you can hang out with your kids, right? Yeah. And also I've realized I love my children, but sometimes <laughs> I need a break. Oh, yeah. From them. <laughs> I'm sure. Like, yeah, every once understand. in a while, I'm like, don't you need a nap? I feel like you need a nap. Yeah. Like, I feel like I need a nap. <laughs> We all do. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> all right, I all right. I'm going to leave you alone. Thank you. Right. No. <laughs> I love that you guys are sisters. It's so perfect. It's amazing. <laughs> all right. Next question. What is the best book you've read or the best thing you've watched over quarantine? So I watched Tiger King. Oh, I tried watching that. Um, I lost my mind. I was literally like, what is happening? I don't know. Um, but I have to say the best thing I've watched was Mick Millions. So I did not, my husband had told me about this show and he was like, remember the big McDonald's monopoly scandal? And I was like, no, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Um, but apparently there was this huge, you know, like the McDonald's monopoly game. Yeah. There was this huge scandal where like this person had like rigged it and then the mob was involved and then they like had like people going to jail for it and the FBI invest. I mean, it was like, it's a true story and it was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I, at the end of every episode, they'd like drop another bomb where it was like, what? <laughs> like, how is that happening now? How can this get any weirder? And it was amazing. And like, I super enjoyed it, which I had no idea that it was even a thing. I was like, this isn't real. He's like, no, this isn't real. and I was like, I literally had no idea, but I'm really glad that I watched it. It was awesome. That's crazy. Yeah. With all the free time, you can like watch so many things and learn so much. And you know what? We've been reading, like as a family, we read Harry Potter together before bed. And so that's really fun because like I love Harry Potter and getting to share that with my older son has been really awesome. And it's just, you know, Family time is awesome. I do need a break from it once in a while, but I do like that I've had more family time. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. That's how it is in my family, too. Yeah, like, I love you. Also, please go over there. <laughs> I'm good for a minute. <laughs> All right, another question. What is your go-to, I don't know what to do, so I guess I'll do this activity? Oh, organizing? <laughs> Yeah, I called my mom and I was like, I know I can't bring anything to your house right now, but I've been going through everything and like finding stuff to get rid of. She's like, 
how is there anything left in your house anymore? She's like, you get rid of stuff all the time. Like that's how I cope with stress is I go through like in my kitchen, in my dining room, everywhere. And I just get rid of everything that I haven't used in a while. And so I have organized every drawer, every closet, every like, like I half of the kitchen cabinets are empty. Cause I was like, well, haven't used this and get rid of it. Like, so my husband's like, we're not going to have anything left in our house. I'm like, mm, it'll be fine. <laughs> I've been cleaning my room, like nonstop. Yeah. Oh, you have to do something, right? And for me, like it gets out that nervous energy so I don't make mm -hmm. everyone else in my family crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, another question. What is your go-to quarantine snack food? Um, I'm a baker. So I have been making like, like instead of making like a big batch of cookies, I'll make like a quarter of a batch after dinner and we'll have that for dessert. Like cookies all day, every day. It's a problem. Oh, yeah. It's like a real issue. <laughs> <laughs> <How it is. laughs> what is something you've done that you're not particularly, particularly proud of during quarantine? Um, I definitely accidentally slept through my son's video call with his teacher <laughs> on Tuesday and forgot to get him set up. It happens. Um, my baby went down for a nap and I was like, I guess I should probably also. <laughs> so I went and I laid down and then I woke up and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I'm a bad parent. I'm so sorry. But we got him on another one later. So then I felt less bad. But like, at first I was like, oh, like, what have I done? <laughs> okay. Um, what is the first thing you want to do when quarantine finally ends? Um, see my family. Like I'm really, really close to my parents and to my sister and we have kids who are the same age and stuff like that. And so it's been really hard to not, like we do a lot of video calling like all day. I'm on the phone with somebody because we all miss each other and my husband is working and I have no adults to talk to. So I'm like, I guess I'll call you. Like it'll be fine. But, um, I definitely cannot wait to see my family. We've even had my grandma who's 98 on a bunch of video calls. <laughs> And she has no idea what she's doing. So most of them are like just her face like this. <laughs> but she can see the kids, which is really what's important. That's and so, so yeah, it's she has Facebook. So I've been setting them up for like Facebook Messenger. It's adorable. She, <laughs> I'm sure she's adorable. But it's been really fun to be able to do that. I just miss being there in person. I'm sure. That's how I am with my family too. It's, yeah. it's hard. It is. Okay, last question. What is your message to all of the students and staff at Maney's, most particularly our seniors? So I teach seniors. I'm really lucky that I get to kind of teach freshmen at the beginning of your high school journey. And then I get a lot of those same students back when they're seniors, which is really cool. And to get to see how much they've grown and changed. And I have to say that has been one of the hardest things for me, that I really legitimately miss them. And then I'm sad that for a lot of them, I won't get to see them again. Um, so my message would just be that we miss you and we love you and we care about you. And that I know this is not the way we thought senior year was going to end. But if we can maybe focus on the four years and 10 months leading up to this, <laughs> that, you know, or the three years and 10 months leading up to this, not just the last two months of high school. I think overall, hopefully it was a really positive experience and you know, we'll still be there. So come back and visit. <laughs> I'm sure it's really hard for all the seniors and all their teachers. They said, it was funny when I got the email, like when that officially went out to all the students saying like school's going to be over, basically. I got five requests from seniors to just schedule a video call to chat within an hour because they were like, I just need someone to talk to. And I was like, I get it. Like most of my seniors, and this is maybe not like the best thing, but most of them are kind of checked out academically at this point. Like they're not really yeah. doing school. Um, but I still talk to them all the time because they want to just talk to me, not necessarily about school stuff. And so to me, like if that's what they need, then that's what they need. Like that's cool. Yeah. Like, let's talk about what we watched on Netflix last night. <laughs> but I feel like that's really hard. Like they need a support system and they don't have necessarily the the kind of support that they need right now. So that's been the hardest part, I think. Yeah, it really does suck. Mm, yeah, it's been really hard. It's, I mean, my freshmen, I have to say, as one of them, I can tell you this, you guys have been working so hard. Like, I am so impressed by the <laughs> fact that everyone is still engaging and 
you know, participating in what we're doing and working so hard. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate that because as a teacher, like at least that makes me feel like I'm checking in and I know you're okay. (laughs) Like that's good. Um, So that's been really awesome. Like a lot Mm -hmm. of the teachers have been complaining about how their freshmen are not doing anything (laughs) at all. And I was like, oh no, mine all do their stuff. (laughs) Like they send me all their stuff. It's great. (laughs) All right. So that's all the questions that we have. Sorry, my guinea pigs. They're so, I (laughs) I love that they live in your room. Does your sister share a room with you? Uh, No, it's just me. And you have your little friends. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> it's like a fairy tale princess where there's like just little animals. Yes. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much for your time. This has been May Niece Quarantine Talks signing off. I'm your host, Daniela Gorak. Stay positive and healthy during this scary time. Mm-hmm.